could be streaming now. Yeah, I think I am. All right, I have a new setup here. Kind of new setup since last time. New streaming setup. I have new lights, things like that. Two microphones and huh let's see how it goes so haven't had a stream for a while I've been traveling in and out of town and I'm back so for anybody anybody not watching this as a live stream you might want to skip forward a little bit or you know what another tip I've heard this tip many times about people listening to me the tip is change the speed of the audio to like double the speed or 1.5x the speed. I talk pretty slow. I talk pretty low, mellow, ASMR-like, whichever. Hmm. Like, subscribe, uh, share this video. That will get more engagement. And what I'll do here is this whole video here is about it's about a hex upgrade. Now you can't really upgrade hex, the contract itself. It's an immutable contract, meaning that it cannot be mutated. Immutable cannot be mutated. You know, let me know, how is the audio here? Is the audio, is the video choppy? Because if the video is choppy, I am gonna redo this. Let's see. So the hex upgrade, what is the hex upgrade about? Well, something came out called Hedron, came out about a week ago. In Hedron, it performs extra functions on top of hex. Pretty useful functions. Um, is it going to get there? Is it gonna be useful for everybody else? I don't know. I'm still figuring that out. Now, I was very excited about Hedron when it first came out. And now, uh, you know, now I'm not sure. There's, there are some key things that must happen for Hedron to become exciting and useful. And I don't see those things happening without people voluntarily giving up their value. Now, I think it's going to be worth it for people to give up their value to have Hedron do what it needs to do. So Hedron, Hedron wraps hex. You could say adds functionality to it and adds usefulness to it, encapsulates hex makes it pretty useful. And that's what this whole video is going to be about. So first, I'm just going to share some links here. Oh, I hope this isn't choppy. It's like my, my biggest fear. Biggest fear is this um, video being super choppy. Why is it a fear? Because you know, I want you all to be able to look at something nice. Okay. I'm going to post here about this live stream. So skip forward a little bit. If you're watching this not live, just go ahead and skip forward a little bit on the video. I'm sharing it now on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Robert. G-E-N-I-T-O, so R-O-B-E-R-T-G-E-N-I-T-O. Another word while that loads. I swear people are gonna think that I'm sponsored by Penta Water, but it's just. I drink it for the sake of hydration. And a lot of people don't realize this, but water does not hydrate you. Hydrogen hydrates you. That's why it's called hydration. All right, cool. Now, according to this, I'm having a good amount of frames per second dropping. Okay. I can live with that. All right, 
live streaming about the Hex upgrade with Hedron. See how that works. Okay, I'm posting this. So I just posted that on Twitter, and now I'm going to post that as well on the Hedron chat. To get to the Hedron chat and to get more information from people about Hedron, you want to go to the website. You want to go to the URL t.me slash Hedron Crypto. So that's the letter t.me slash H-E-D-R-O-N-C-R-Y-P-T-O, Crypto. Help spread the word. So Hedron, once again, it's a very, um, Hedron is pretty new. And if you have hex stakes, you want to get into Hedron like right away. <clears throat> you want to get into Hedron right away because there's a bonus where you can earn more Hedron based on your hex stakes that you've already been staking and doing things with, serving time in the hex world. So first things first, very important. I'm going to say this many times. Before you end a hex stake, make sure you mint your hedron. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Okay. Cool. All right, last one, Facebook. I just let the Facebook world know about this. All right, so another another reminder, um, not reminder, but some of the things that are going on here and that this stream, I'll go over the stream. Um, I am gonna do a Hexflex. Um, I do a Hexflex quite often. That's a collection of uh, really, it's just me showing off things that I've acquired from my hex earnings and my hex uh, investments. Because a little over a year ago, I predicted that hex would at least 20 fold in price. Where it sits today, it is more like a little more than 10 fold. But within the last year, a little more year from when I said, hey, hex is going to at least 20 fold, what happened? Hex more than 100 fold in price. That means for every thousand dollars you would have put into hex back then, you would have had a hundred thousand dollars. For every ten thousand dollars you would have put into hex, you would have had over a million dollars, and etc. And that's pretty cool. Every hundred dollars you would have put into hex over a year ago, uh, when I made this call, every hundred dollars that would have been ten thousand dollars in your pocket. So let's say every month you put away a hundred dollars into hex. Um, a year later, each month that went by, you would have had anywhere between ten thousand dollars and that you would have had anywhere between a thousand and ten thousand dollars and that's exciting that's cool um that's life-changing money when you add a zero behind your earnings your worth whatever when you add that zero then that's a very nice thing to happen um, it's called an order of magnitude when you add a zero to anything that's one order of magnitude okay let's see let me just make this public. Public. <laughs> nice first comment. All right, cool. All right, please, anybody who is watching. Oh, wait, let me see. Hedron doing well. Hedron's going to melt faces. Uh, you know, Hedron might melt faces. I think it might just do that. Um, once again, I'm going to go over what has to happen in the Hedron community. And Hedron community, listen to me. All right? I've been watching cryptocurrencies for more than 10 years. I have been working on building ecosystems for different cryptocurrencies. Uh, Bitcoin, like all of us had. Ethereum, like all of us had. Uh, Dash cryptocurrency. Um, who else? Uh, I worked with Pipix for a little bit and then was glad that I didn't anymore. Um, Steam, many cryptocurrencies. 
And for the ecosystem in a cryptocurrency to thrive, things must happen. So over the last 11 years, I've watched how cryptos have died and how cryptos have thrived multiple, multiple times. And Hex is one of the first things that I've seen that didn't need really a, did, did not need a centralized exchange to become successful. And that's pretty cool. And so Hedron is, uh, you know, Hedron's like an add-on to Hex. It's going to do some cool stuff. Uh, you know, first of all, um, I'm going to start with the Hex Flex. Maybe I'll have some Hedron Flexes in the future. Um, because if you have Hex, if you have Hex stakes, then you have Hedron and you're going to want to claim it. I'm going to show you how to do that. So here, well, you know, I've had, I've had this on like for quite a while. This is a raincoat um, wind jacket from Louis Vuitton and it's not hot and I love it because I didn't want something hot and I freaking love this thing, but I'm going to take it off just to talk about it. It's two sided. Um, these jackets, I think it was like a $3,000 jacket almost. And that's a hex flex right there. You talk about something or you show off something that you got as a means of just sitting on your ass and doing nothing. Um, that's what hex stakes are about. And now everyone who has hex stakes, just throw it on the ground, everyone who has hex stakes is gonna be able to claim Hedron. Sweet. And then shortly after, who knows when, one month to two months now, everyone with Hedron and hex is going to be able to get a copy of that on Pulse Chain. So really, I don't know. It, it seems to me like the absolute best thing anyone can do in crypto right now is get away from NFTs. Okay, sure, they're fun. Spend some money on fun, whatever. And when I say best thing to do in crypto, I mean as far as amplifying your value, amplifying your worth, by far the best thing you can do right now is get into cryptocurrencies that are going to multiply in value. Cryptocurrencies that are going to bring value to everybody. So between Hex... Pulse Chain, Pulse X even, and Hedron, that is quite a combination. All right, more about that in a bit. Let's see. Guys, please, someone tell me. <laughs> I'm overstressing about this. How is the frame rate? How is the video quality? Is it okay? Is it good? Um, no complaints so far, so I guess it's going to be cool. Um, and yeah, here's a shirt that my sweetheart got me. My sweetheart's been telling me that I need a hex flex stuff that I get for her because I am um, buying things for her all the time. I love her. She's amazing. She's She is the other half of me, literally, and I hope you all find that too. But she got me this shirt for Christmas present. So it's, it's an old shirt. Uh, Versace makes some badass shirts. Um, and here, Louis Vuitton chains. Um, you know, when I have gold, um, I think gold is pretty boring. But, um, you know, I get 24 karat gold. That's cool. I like 24 karat gold. If it's not a 24 karat gold necklace, it's going to be something like Louis Vuitton. Because this, these uh, gold gold chains from Louis Vuitton, it's like they were, they're meant to mimic gold. They get really hot. They conduct heat. Um, they're heavy. They're pretty cool, even though they're not real gold. It's kind of awesome. But hey, some next hex flexes. <laughs> um, I got this keep all bag for my sweetheart and keep all is pretty cool it's for keeping all of your crap in it great for traveling so when we were traveling we're doing that uh traveling in the plane for example um this is a mask well i have it all closed up and nice but it's a mask because a lot of planes are stupid um it's the only time i've worn a mask is while on a plane just barely wore it don't even wear it in the airport and you have people coming up to you saying, oh, hey, excuse me, sir, you know you need to get your mask on, right? Well, uh, masks have been pretty useless. Um, you know, I understand physical health and emotional health probably a lot more than um, most people pay to ca uh, care to pay attention to it. So this is useless is my point. And um, when I say it's useless, I know very damn well it is. So nothing better than hex flexing, spending 600 to 800 maybe this was a $900 mask, on something useless. I think that's hilarious. Um, but after all, that's what you can do when you're in crypto for a while, you make smart plays and you listen to smart people. So hey, um, I don't think I really wanna flex that much more here. 
I'm really not big into flexing. It's just, it shows people that crypto is a way. When you buy cryptocurrency, you are buying your freedom. And uh, you know, with cryptocurrency, the more relevant cryptocurrency becomes, the less that uh, wars can be funded uh, because, um, well, let, let's just say that um, the more cryptocurrency everybody uses, the less relevant national currencies become the less relevant uh, currencies of warring nations become. So when you get cryptocurrency, you will slowly end a lot of human evil out there by replacing that human evil and that human tasks with something like crypto that does tasks for us without requiring the trust of human beings. Now, I know that's gonna be a little difficult to understand at first, or maybe even if you've been in crypto for a while, that can be hard to understand, but just keep that idea in your head. You know, the more relevant crypto is, the less power that um, that a lot of people who are addicted to power can use to abuse people. All right, let, let's get into Heatron now. Oh no, the video is a little choppy. The mic is great as well, maybe turn it up a bit. Lots of tearing. Oh no, what is tearing? Bitrate might be too high. Let me try changing the bitrate. I have the bitrate at, oh, maybe I can't change it right now. Yeah, I can. Okay, I have the bitrate set to um, 13 megabits per second, so 13,000 kilobits per second. I'll try setting it to 8,000 kilobits per second. Let's see how that works. And thank you for, thank you for your input on that. Okay, so first of all, what is Hedron? Okay, I'm gonna pop up the Hedron website here. I'm gonna go through that. Um, I'm gonna go through some real, um, the Hedron UI. Um, I'm gonna go through uh, different aspects of the Hedron UI and what you can do. I'm also gonna take a pretty deep dive into the tokenomics of that. And after all, the, the tokenomics are important for us to discuss if we're gonna figure out like, hey, is this something that is potentially going to be worth a lot? Uh, to be frank, I think Hedron, um, it's either going to stay kind of um, relatively valueless right now, or it's going to explode in value. I'll get into that. There was a few days ago, somebody dumped about a trillion Hedron, and I think there's more than 12 trillion Hedron in existence. I really don't know right now. Uh, last time I looked at the number, um, it, I think it was over 12 trillion. So a whale dumped... 1, 000, 1 trillion hedron on the market and got about $890,000 for it, or 890,000 USD worth of wealth. So if you're a big major whale, hedron might not be that valueless. But for most of us, a lot of times when you mint hedron, you're not even getting enough hedron to offset the Ethereum gas costs. More about that in a bit, because you might want to hold out if you can. All right, so let's go to the cam and screen. Yeah, check it out. Here's here's Hedron and here's all the chat. Bye chat, going for now. Okay, Hedron. All right, you know, it says it all right here. Take advantage of your hex stakes maturity, trade, borrow against it. Um, let me first show you, uh, well, now let me just talk to you here. All right, in this video, you're gonna learn how to mint your Hedron. So if you have hex stakes, you want to watch and pay attention to this. Uh, right now you get a 10X bonus for minting your Hedron, or, well, you get a 10X bonus for the life of your stakes. More about that. I mean, hey, basically you can claim your hex stakes, you can earn Hedron off them when you mint your Hedron. So now is the time to claim it. Yes, you're gonna be paying gas fees, you're gonna be paying relatively high gas fees, but at least you, you get to lock in this 10X bonus, which is gonna be much better than locking in bonuses when Pulse Chain comes out. When Pulse Chain comes out, this bonus might be 2X, it might be 1X, there might not be a bonus. So, all right, what is Hedron? It's a collection of smart contracts that live on the Ethereum and Pulse Chain blockchains. Yes, yes, yes. How do I get Hedron? I'll show you that. I'll show you how to get Hedron. 
Um, this website is how you do it right now. It's hedron.pro. Uh, so go ahead and open up a, a new browser window or open up your MetaMask wallet, go to the Explorer and go to hedron.pro, H-E-D-R-O-N.pro, -E hedron as in polyhedron. Make the most of your hex stake. So yeah, the idea be between um, Hedron really is to be able to borrow against your hex stakes. Now, all of us who've been into hex, we have something called native hex stakes, which just means that the hex um, stakes are, they're purely hex. And when you use Hedron, you're creating a new type of hex stake that gives you more values. And Rock Edison, thank you so much for all of your input on here. Yeah, the price of uh, Hedron right now in US dollars is like 0.00000103 or 104, as he says. So 0 0.50s and then a one for US dollars. That's a lot less than a penny. Okay, so. So yeah, you can borrow the value of your hedron. Now, if you don't pay back this amount that you've borrowed, or if you don't pay back the hedron that has been advanced to you for your hex stakes, then uh, then your hex stake could be liquidated or someone else owns it. So the idea in hedron here is that you can monetize your T-shares. You can't monetize your T-shares right now. But Hedron is a token that's going to work to allow you to um, allow you to get some value in advance, so you don't have to wait those five thousand five hundred fifty-five days for your stake for your hex stake to finish. If your hex stake is a year and you really need cash right now, um, Hedron is working to become a uh, well. Hedron was designed to become a solution for that, so you can borrow from your hex stakes. And that's pretty cool. You can get some of that value in advance. Because our only other options right now are to end our stakes right away, to end our hex stakes. It's called an emergency end stake. And, and there's penalties for that. Some penalties, you just, you don't get anything. You lose all your value. And that's where Hedron's gonna help out. Hedron is gonna allow us to get value for our hex stakes no matter how long our hex stakes are. And even if our hex stakes give a full penalty. All right, so this website has a pretty cool graphic here that just shows, well, what can you do with your hex stake instance or what can you do with Hedron? You can get an advance for tokens in the future. You receive your H, you receive your tokens and let's see, sent to liquidation market, repay advance in full, tax reduced liquidity. All right, All right what, what else can you do with Hedron? This is pretty cool. With Hedron, um, your hex stakes can be tokenized meaning okay your hex stakes you can you can uh, let's say you have a hex stake for five years well you're able to if you created that hex stake with hedron um, that hex stake now exists can exist as an nft that you can sell to someone you can sell it to one of your friends you can sell it on OpenSea. i'm going to show you some examples of that so that's really cool Another cool thing is, oh yeah, there's lots of cool stuff. I mean, Hedron's awesome. Hedron is worth your time to check out. Um, I just hope that it becomes worth more over time. All right, and the other thing you can do with Hedron is mint Hedron. So you can mint a new currency, meaning you can print your own money. And that token that you print is called Hedron. And the amount of Hedron you get is based on your hex stakes. All right, let's, uh, let's see. So check out this graph some more if you want to. To be frank, you're gonna learn a lot more just by watching live streams, and you'll learn a lot more by playing with this yourself. All right, estimate your payout. Cool, 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 all right. So I'm gonna show you an example of, um, I'm gonna show you an example of Hedron with one of my accounts. Now, by the way, when it comes to privacy, for all of you out there, when you are sharing uh, any information about yours from an account, it's very easy for people to find out um, to find out your Ethereum account address or your Pulse Chain account address. Even if you think you're not sharing that much information, you really are. Let me give you an example. 
this account that I'm sharing here, if someone wants to figure out what account this is, they don't need my account address. They can query uh, a lot of a lot of data, but um, they can query the hex stakes that I have. And based on how many days were served and how many total days in general, from that you can figure out someone else's account. Uh, so some live streamer, you can, basically the whole point of this is um, I'm giving up privacy by doing this for you, um, or I'm lying about it and you know I have a little by bypass here to use a different address. Because after all, you didn't see me do that in MetaMask, but I'm being honest here. Um, don't share anything about your accounts if you don't want to give up the privacy for that. Don't even share the the amount of coins you have because a lot of times the amount of coins you have is that unique of a number where your account address can be discovered. All right. Um, this privacy is most valuable for people who are holding a lot of wealth um, because that privacy can turn into a really bad thing. Um, I've known people who've been kidnapped. I've known people who've been mugged. Uh, people who are very well known in the crypto industry. Um, so yeah, kidnapped, mugged at gunpoint. Um, and this was, I think the first one I heard about was like six years ago, seven years ago. And then another time a couple years ago. And if any of you are watching that that has happened to by any chance, well, that'd be awesome because I don't think any of you have the time to do that. But this stuff is, this stuff is real, so privacy is important. Don't share anything about your addresses if you're holding a good chunk of money. Even if you're holding like 10K or more, it's it's kind of sad what people will do for value or to steal from someone. So here's Hedron, okay, here's Hedron. Um, when you go to hedron.pro, you want to click hedron.app. You want to then click connect wallet, this button right here, and then click MetaMask. And then your MetaMask will be connected. Now, if you have hex stakes, you're gonna see sort of like what's down here you're gonna see all of your hex stakes. They're all gonna say native. A native hex stake is one that was made with the hex.com app, the go.hex.com app. Now the instanced stake, that is the Hedron instance. That's the cool thing that can do other things. So that's neat. Okay, let us, well, let me get here. So, First things first, let me find like this. I'm gonna do some actions here. On the native hex stake, um, I can mint some hedron. Well, first of all, when you first load your hex stakes, the buttons to the side, I don't remember what they say, it probably says actions, and then it'll let you claim or mint. You want to claim, in order to get the 10x bonus, you want to claim all of your stakes. I mean, fees right now are, what are fees on it? On Etherscan. Well, I don't know what fees are right now, but let's try this out. Okay. Let's load up our gas tracker. This tells me low and high. Whoa, cool. All right, Ether fees are super, super low. So, you know, I'm just gonna mint a bunch of this stuff. All right, so what you likely see the first time is that you can claim or mint. That's the action you can do. And by the way, if you don't see these buttons, that's because you gotta scroll, like, you gotta scroll. Um, by default, when you see this Hedron app, it might look like this. And you might have to scroll to the right to see all the actions. So, just, just a hint because that happens a lot. That's happened to so many people. It happened to me too. All right. Okay, so so here's the thing. When you claim, you are gonna spend a good amount of gas and is the gas even gonna be worth it? Well, this is for 15 million hedron. Um, uh, for you to mint more hedron, you're gonna want to have served more days. Uh, these, for example, have served 336 days, so almost a full year. Do I have any older ones? No, I don't. The longer ones. And the more B shares you have, or the more T shares you have, the more Hedron you're gonna be able to claim, or you're gonna be able to mint. So I've claimed all of these. I don't have the claim button because I've claimed all of these hex stakes. 
I have multiple Ethereum accounts and I just went through all the accounts and I just kept claiming and claiming and claiming. Spent, uh, I don't remember how, I have I have a lot of hex stakes. So I don't remember how much I spent in gas, but um, for me it was negligible. Um, but this is something you wanna pay attention to. So 15 million hedron. <clears throat> all right, 15 million hedron. Let me copy this number. Okay, times point. All right, so to get the, the value of that, in US dollars, I'm gonna put 0 0.50s, 103 or 104. So I'm gonna get about $16 worth of hedron. All right, now I'm gonna mint that here for your example. You press the mint button, and remember this is, this should be done after you claim. Um, you know, maybe you can claim a bunch of hedron. You can um, claim a bunch of hedron and then convert that hedron to Ethereum so you have more gas fees to do all your claiming. That's something you can do. But estimated fees, six bucks. Heck yeah. All right, I always edit this and I go to high just because. Confirm. Sweet. So now that's going to happen. I got to wait for the slow Ethereum network. All right. So keep in mind too, when you do these claims, this is all gonna get copied over to the Pulse Chain. So it'll already be done on Pulse Chain. For now, you know I don't recommend you mint all of your Hedron, um, but the one thing to know is you want to mint your Hedron before you end your stake. Before you end your Hex stake, mint all of your Hedron on that. Once you end your Hex stake, you can't mint any of the Hedron. So that's very important. Your attention is important here. Okay, now notice for this this native stake, uh, the borrowable hedron is not available. I can't borrow hedron against that. It's because you can't borrow hedron against native hex stakes. If you want to be able to borrow against any hex stakes, you have to create hedron instances. And hedron instances are maybe, um, how much more? Um, at the current, um, at the current gas price right now, where is it? Oh, did I throw it away? At the current gas price right now, um, which I think was 27 guay, I think it's going to be like $80 or $70 to create a hex staked, a hedron staked instance. So a hedron version of hex or a hedron wrapped hex stake. Uh, it costs a good amount of change more than creating a hex instance from go.hex.com. So you create a you create a new hex stake, and that might cost you, on average, with these high Ethereum fees, maybe 30 bucks, maybe 25 bucks, maybe $35. And that same, um, to create that same stake on Hedron, it's gonna cost about 100. So I think this is why everybody's looking for forward to Pulse Chain. It's gonna cost about $100. Is it gonna be worth it? Heck yeah, if, if the value of Hedron rises more, this is gonna be super worth it. Um, I plan on uh, my next hex stakes all being Hedron instances so that um, so that there's a possibility of borrowing against that. Um, or at least at least there's that possibility to, uh, to sell a hex stake, to sell those T-shares if I choose to. All right, so this has not been minted yet, that's fine. Uh, let me go ahead and do another one. All right, so I'll mint from here. Feels like computers are slow now. Come on. Hi. Save that. This feels like the world wide wait. Now the staked instance, this is where the cool things happen. Now that this is a, um, or this that I created like four days ago. Oh, if I didn't mention this before, stop this video right now and claim your hex stakes. So stop this video, go to hedron.pro, click hedron. He click hedron dap at the top. Connect your MetaMask wallet. Um, 
add HDRN to MetaMask using this little add button that will add the Hedron official token to MetaMask. Do these things so that you can claim all of your hex stakes. Um, when you claim them now, you're going to get that 10x bonus in what, 20 hours from now? In 20 hours from now, that bonus is going to drop to 9x. And then a week later, that bonus is going to drop to 8x. And then a week later, it's going to drop down to 7x. So now is the time to claim, to at least claim your stakes. You don't need to mint them. You don't need to mint your hedron from your stakes yet. Do that before you end the stake, but at least claim your stakes. Um, if hedron shoots up in a lot of value, you're going to wish you claimed it. You're going to wish you had that higher bonus. So decide for you. If you have extra gas to spare, um, if you have extra ether gas to spend, then why not? Do you have better things to do with that gas? If you don't, Think about this. So here's the instance. Heck yeah, this is cool. All right, so for your Hedron instance, um, it's unlocked because I did not create a token out of it. So with the HSI instance, I can, actions. I can mint what's available now. I can borrow. I can borrow this big number here, 6.7 million hedron i can tokenize it i can end the stake which right now would be emergency ending because if you look here i've only served four of the 15.2 years worth of time i don't want to end the stake i can call good accounting and i can look at information on that stake so here i click stake info it's not telling me anything about it <laughs> oh well now let me refresh this page I'm really excited about Hedron. While this loads, let me show you. This is cool. This is the total supply, like daily for Hedron, of how much everybody else is minting, um, how much they're borrowing, and how much they're burning. Now, that's kind of cool. When you burn Hedron, um, you are making it more valuable at your expense, though. So, when it comes to the game of making more money, you don't ever want to burn. Okay, all right, here's the instance. Now check this out, actions. So tokenize, that's the cool thing. Um, I don't actually want to tokenize this, but um, yeah, when you tokenize these stakes, they are no longer in your control. You can't um, end the stake. You can do good accounting still, which that's advanced. Um, but you lose your control of the stake. You still own it, but you get an NFT token for it. Now that NFT token, you can go on OpenSea. Now I'm gonna show you somebody who did that, somebody that goes by the name, the handle, Be Mindful of Death, um, and they are a very intelligent, uh, they as in this person, is very intelligent. This NFT, this NFT can be sent to other wallets or traded on marketplaces, yeah. So when you tokenize your hex stake, you cannot mint, borrow, or do anything with Hedron until you detokenize it. Ah, okay, so everything I just said, it says here. Um, I'm not gonna tokenize it, but I'm gonna show you somebody who's already tokenized it. And the current name they go through by is Anamnesia. Anamnesia, I think that's the name. Be mindful of death. So let me refresh this in case there's been some updates. And I hope the updates weren't removing all of this, because this is a good example. Cool. All right, so this is on the popular NFT website, OpenSea. And, oh yeah, I forget my internet is slow when I'm live streaming. That's what's happening. So here, they have a bunch of hex stakes. So, so, and Amnesia is selling a bunch of hex stakes that you can borrow, or you can buy, sorry, you can buy 0.1 T-shares. I don't remember how much 0.1 T-shares cost right now. Um, $100, $200, $300, $400? I just, I cannot remember. There's so many numbers everywhere. But um, getting, getting one T-share is no easy task. So this is all possible because of Hedron. These are all Hedron instances. 
And I think they have a... Okay, I thought Anamnesia was selling a hex steak that was like 23... Um, that was like 23 um, T-shares. Which, I mean, to get 23 T-shares, you know, your average person cannot afford one T-share today. But that's fine. We still have billion. We still have billions of T-shares we can get. So this is cool. All right. And I looked at a hex stake here. Mm. Here it is. The twenty-three point nine T-shares. I bet if I refresh this, this is gonna disappear. So, I think the asking price is seventy-five thousand dollars. But check this out. Okay, if you have, if you create these NFTs, there's something really badass you can do. Ah, $5,000 for this one. Here's the really badass thing you can do. Who is this? Okay, I'm going to have to look at their thing. Now, this is super valuable. Um, this hex stake, this HSI, this Hedron stake instance, it's going to be copied on the Pulse chain. So whatever the value of this is, um, it's going to be discovered on Pulse chain as well. And in order to have created this hex stake, this HSI, this Hedron staked instance, I'm going to call it HSI from now on, um, they created it at a time where hopefully they claimed the, well, it doesn't say here whether they claimed it or not, but if they claimed, um, if they claimed this on Hedron, that is a 10x multiplier for Hedron rewards for the next 5,555 days. So this hex stake here is valuable as hell. I mean, who knows what the value of it's gonna be? They're selling it for $75,000, but um, if the value of hex on Pulse Chain is realized to be a much larger number, which could happen considering a lot more people are gonna be able to access hex and add a lot more buying pressure on the Pulse Chain, this could be worth a lot more than $75,000. I wouldn't buy it right now for $75,000 though, because I know how to create this stuff and you would too. But come around 30 days from now, that could be a very different story. Come around after Pulse Chain is released, this could be a extremely valuable hex stake. Cool. Let's see what else we got here. So here's 1.07 T-shares uh, staked for about 10 years exactly asking 5,555 USD. That's kind of cool. Um, I wish there was more information about the hex stake here owned by this person. Yeah, I wish there was more information. There probably is, and I just don't know how to access it, but um, it'd be good to know how much hex as well. All right, so um, the person in Anamnesia that we looked at before, um, this is all the fact that this is something you could not do with Hex before. Previously with Hex, you could not create an NFT out of it and sell your stake to someone else. And really, that gave a lot of value to Hex. Now, does Hedron take value away from Hex? Uh, no, Hedron is its own separate token with its own separate economy um, that does interact with Hex. And this is really interesting. So. I'm excited. Anyway, Hex Genius has a strategy. Um, I'm gonna post this into. Um, I'm gonna post this into the. What is it called? Comment section afterwards. I'll give you all these links because there's cool stuff here. But really, I want to get into a little bit of a problem here, with Hedron. That, um, you know, I've gotten a lot of heat from people in the Hedron community for talking about this problem. All I gotta say is, hey, Hedron people, you know, this isn't safe for children, but fuck off. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> and I don't say that very often. <laughs> but seriously, fuck off. Uh, there is a problem with Hedron that we have to all solve together. And I'm gonna expose that here too. Uh, and it needs to be looked at because this problem, um, this is how we're gonna create more value in Hedron. So in the meantime, this is cool. <clears throat> This uh, Hex Genius HSI strategy from Anamnesia. Um, check that out. Um, Anamnesia, or Be Mindful of Death, loves to create and share cool spreadsheets. 
yeah <laughs> so if you like spreadsheets like i do you can check these out as well now here's the thing with hedron you know there are chances there are times where borrowing hedron could be very economically valuable where you do want to borrow hedron and borrowing that hedron could allow you to uh well you know that's what I want to look at here. That's what I want to look at here. Before I get into other things about Hedron. So let's look at this. Here's where here's where a fault lies in Hedron. Uh, Hedron the token. Um, well, how is Hedron going to get more value? Well, it has to be used more. Um, other people have to see the value in it. People have to create um, Hedron staked instances. Or is it hex staked instance? Correct me if I'm wrong. And forgive me. But so, for Hedron to be valuable, to be a valuable investment, a lot of the tokenomics are good. And, um, I mean, I've looked at them tirelessly, and there's a lot of really good gameplay here. Um, there's a lot of good pumpamentals, there's a lot of good burnamentals, and one of them is that, well, Hedron is going to become more valuable when people are borrowing Hedron. Because what do you need Hedron right now? Like, what do you need Hedron for? At the moment, the only thing you need Hedron for, the only incentive you have to buy Hedron, or to mint your own, the only incentive you have is if you want to buy a lot of Hedron, for speculative reasons, it's going to cost you less in gas to just buy the hedron instead of instead of claiming and uh, instead of minting your hedron yourself. While you could mint hedron from a lot of your long time running um, club five 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 stakes, um, you could mint a lot of hedron at a certain gas price. But if you want to get a ton of hedron for speculative reasons. It might cost less than gas just to go to Uniswap and buy Hedron. All right, but our first reason of why do you want to buy Hedron, the first reason is speculation. We need more reasons other than speculation to buy Hedron. Now, Hex, why do you buy Hex? One of the reasons is speculation. But another reason that you buy Hex, another reason why you buy Hex is so that you can uh, create a time lock deposit so that the amount of hex you have, the value of that hex, um, you will get rewards by locking up that hex for X amount of time, for whatever amount of time. So, so one of the use cases of hex, besides speculation, is being able to multiply the amount of hex you have over time. So whatever value hex is, based on speculation and based on usefulness, whatever value hex is, you get more of it and you get more value over time. Um, that is a very valuable use case, super valuable use case. Let's see, well, let's get back here. All right, that is a super valuable use case. Uh, but so back to hedron. Why do you need or why do you want hedron for speculation? Yes, everything speculation. But what other reasons? What is required? Well, in the hex world you need hex in order to get your t-shares so you need hex in order to in order to um, receive more hex over time now in hedron what do you need the hedron for well you need hedron to uh, you need hedron to to acquire hex stakes that people have borrowed from so anyone who has borrowed hedron if they haven't paid their principal and interest if they haven't made their monthly payments for their hedron after 90 days, their stakes, their stakes are going to be available for you to purchase. So you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to acquire someone else's stake. Cool, but you need Hedron to do that. So there's the use case of needing Hedron, so that you can buy stakes from people who were not able to do their monthly payments. To, yeah, <laughs> so when you have a hex, when you have an HSI you're gonna be able to borrow value from that <clears throat> instead of waiting for your hex instance or your HSI, instead of waiting for that to mature. 
So that value that you get advanced up front for having an HSI, uh, like, like this HSI I have here, 15.2 years. I have to wait 15.2 years to get any value from this time lock deposit. But with Hedron, I can borrow 6.7 million Hedron. I can borrow all that Hedron. So I can get some value instead of waiting another 5,500 days. Um, when I use hex, I don't have any other thing that I can do. I can't get any other value. So Hedron allows me the ability to get some value here. Cool. All right. Let me just click that borrow button. Aha, all right, so borrow. Um, okay, let me get back to the screen here. Um, all right, so I clicked the borrow button to show you that, okay, advances, there's a premium. Uh, so when you borrow Hedron against, when you borrow Hedron, you are using your hex stake as collateral. So that, so your hex stake is what you can lose if you don't pay off what you've borrowed. All right, so Hedron sets the advanced premium rate to one half of the hex APY, okay? Hedron payments. So every month there's an amount you're gonna need to pay. And your risk is if, so there's no penalty, there's no late payments or penalties. There's just simply a premium you have to pay. However, if an advance goes 90 or more days without payment, man, there's, there, uh, heads up, there's a lot of, Spelling errors here. Only us spelling error Nazis are gonna go crazy about that. Liquidity take ownership of your hex. Okay, so your risk is if you don't make a payment for 90 days, someone else can take over the ownership of your hex stake. And someone will do that. Close. Someone will do it if it's economically worth it. Today, it's gonna to be super economically worth it. So, okay, so there's something we can do with Hedron. There gives Hedron value. So Hedron's not just speculation. Hedron is also um, you need Hedron, you need to buy Hedron or mint your own Hedron, you need to buy Hedron if you're going to buy someone else's liquidated hex stake. You're gonna buy someone else's stake that they didn't make payments on. All right, what other use cases are there for Hedron before I talk about this, uh, this little problem with Hedron that we have to solve? Well, another, um, that's it, that's it. With Hedron, the only other things you need Hedron to do things with are to burn hedron okay but who's gonna buy hedron from the market just to burn it not many people very few people are gonna do that people who are invested in their hedron being worth more they'll probably do that they might burn one percent of their value they might burn ten percent of the value they might burn half of all of their hedron in hopes that hedron's price will double but that's just hoping okay so being able to burn hedron is really not a great use case you know if hedron's tokenomics made it so that you needed hedron in order to create an hsi that would be freaking awesome but but you don't so that doesn't help there be more more need for hedron so hedron's really limited itself as far as needs go um tokenizing your hsi that's super valuable but it doesn't require the hedron token to do that Arrgh. These are very small um, tokenomics basics that Hedron could have capitalized on, but didn't. Ouch. Um, that leaves it able for somebody else to, to start and create a better Hedron. But you know what? Hey, Hedron has first mover advantage. That's huge and that's awesome. So look here, borrowable Hedron. All right, so um, let me just let you know this stake that I created um, I created it four days ago. It was about a thousand dollars worth of hex, I think. Maybe it was less than that. Um, okay, let's just say about a thousand dollars worth of hex. And if not that much, maybe it was eight hundred, maybe it was twelve hundred. I just don't remember. So I had to lock that hex up for five thousand five hundred fifty-five days. It cost me about a hundred dollars in gas fees to do this. Right? I feel like I should bust out a spreadsheet. Yeah, let me bust out a spreadsheet real quick. Okay. While I bust out the spreadsheet, let's check out some of these comments. Okay, let's see. 
Okay. Got $3,500 to sack for Pulse Chain. Oh yeah, true story. Yeah, um, this is a good time to pawn all of your shit and get into these cryptocurrencies. I think it is. Um, you know, my policy in the past has been screw debts, screw, which is not really nice, screw debts, um, screw buying things, screw having furniture, uh, and just accumulate um, these, these valuable items. Let's make a new spreadsheet. Let's create a spreadsheet together. If you borrow HDRN, you also need a source of extra funds to pay the premiums. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So th this is a use case for Hedron. Very good point. So uh, another thing that people do need Hedron for is when you borrow Hedron, you're going to need to pay it back with Hedron. And what's kind of cool with the tokenomics here is when you are paying back what you borrowed, that gets burnt. So this is super valuable with the tokenomics of Hedron. It's super valuable that when you are paying back your advance, so whatever you advance, whatever comes new into circulation from you advancing it, so whatever is new inflation, you're gonna burn more than you borrowed. So what happens is um, Hedron becomes rather deflationary. And that's gonna bring a lot of value to Hedron, but it's gonna create a lot of value only if it's worth borrowing. That's the big problem that there is with Hedron right now. Is it worth borrowing? Well, let's see. Okay, so currently I've got this nice spreadsheet that I'm gonna show you here. Um, okay, so if you look on the bottom left of the screen, what we have is, oh, come on, we have, we got a spreadsheet, um, and Hedron price, All right? The price of Hedron right now is, is point one, two, three, four, five, five. It's like that much. It is many sub cents. Whoops. Okay. So here's the price of Hedron. Let me make that even bigger. All right, so what I have is his borrow, no, HSI borrow. So what I have is I have this stake, I have this instance here with 6.7 million borrowable Hedron, about 6.7 meter, he, about 6.7 million Hedron. I kind of do want to borrow against that just to show you all what that's gonna be like. <laughs> um, all right, so that's like 6.7 million Hedron. Uh, remember, let's just say, just for your information, there's the gas cost was like a hundred bucks. And the hex value that is locked up, the value of the hex, let's say was a thousand dollars. And once again, I'm referring to this stake right here. What else, uh, what else? Okay, one thing to know is this multiplier, um, you know, I can always, you know, I can borrow, I can get an advance of Hedron for future days that I did not serve for this hex thing. I mean, sorry for Hedron. Uh, but what about the days I already served? The days I already served, they get that bonus multiplier of 10x. Not only do they get that bonus multiplier of 10x, uh, but that becomes my mintable hedron. So you know, let's let's add to this. Um, let's add something to this HSI mintable, All right? So if I'm in a crunch and I need some cash, um, I can mint new hedron. See, that's the amount I can mint. And the value of it right now in US dollar is six cents. All right, so I can mint six cents. Uh, the gas fee right now is about, 
Well, let's see what the gas fee is when I go to mint this. I'm guessing it's like five dollars. If the the rate of gas, the guay is still twenty seven or thirty. Okay, so it's gonna cost six dollars. Reject. Oops. Okay, so that's just not worth it. So if I'm in a crunch and I need some cash, I'm gonna spend six dollars on the Ethereum network just to get six cents worth of of hedron that I minted. Um, and I'm going through this to illustrate the problem with hedron. Now this isn't so much the problem, especially if the price of hedron is a lot more than it is right now. If he if it's a if it's a tenth of a penny per hedron, cool. Then I can mint like fifty dollars worth. I can help myself out with a pinch that I'm in. But that's not the case. Uh, keep in mind too, with Pulse Chain coming out, um, this would potentially be I have six cents plus another six cents from the Pulse Chain network. So six cents on the Ethereum network, six cents on the Pulse Chain network. Uh, that could be cool. But let's look at let's look at this. Okay. Um, every day that goes by, um, here's the amount of mintable hedron that comes into play. You take your B shares, right? Your wait, <laughs> you take your B shares. So for every day, for every day that I serve, I'm gonna get this number right here of B shares. I'm gonna be able to mint that amount every day. However, my multiplier bonus is 10x. So here's my B shares plus, you see my calculator I have up on the middle of the screen, this many B shares plus my bonus. Uh, let's say I didn't get any bonus at all, so zero bonus. So every day I'm going to be able to mint 1,217 hedron just about. Oh yeah, multiply that by the number of days that I serve. So if I serve 10 days, Let me do better on this. So if I serve 10 days, I should have like 12,000 hedron that I can mint. And if I spend, if I spend a thousand days, okay, that's like a dollar 20 that I have, big deal. So this is why the multiplier is important. You claim, you claim your, you claim your hex stakes and you create your HSI instance to get this bonus multiplier. So all of the HSIs you create today are gonna have the 10X multiplier. In 20 hours from now, all of the HSIs that you create, they're gonna lock in at a 9X multiplier. Just information. And then another week from now, 8X multiplier. Another week, 7X. Another week, 6X. It's important to know about this multiplier because that's gonna mean that you can, that means that the more HSIs you create today, instead of 100 days from now, um, the more of a bonus you're going to have for how much hedron you can mint. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't want to get too far ahead, but what we can say here is this is just how you calculate how much hedron you're going to get per day. Um, I've served four days, so on this calculation, multiply it by four days, and according to this, I should be able to mint like 53,000 hedron. Cool, there it is. Now this is important. Your borrowable hedron does not include that bonus multiplier, which makes me so sad. I'm so sad about that. Your borrowable hedron does not include the multiplier. All right. Cool. Um, if it did, you know, it might make a little more sense. So, okay, so back to the spreadsheet that I'm making. So you can see the, the problem we have here. All right, so. There was a gas cost of 100 bucks. The hex value is about $1,000. The T-share value, there really is no value on T-shares yet. Hedron might be able to help us find and realize, actualize and realize a value for T-shares. That's cool because you know, T-shares really have no value. You can't buy T-shares. That can change with Hedron and that is pretty big for hex. That's pretty big for the community. But let's see our total cost. All right, so let's say here's our, oops. You can also do this math real quick and see, all right, $1,100. 
is how much I had to spend to create this HSI. And I'm going to be able to borrow, you know, if I'm going to crunch, I'm going to be able to borrow $7.03 from that. That sucks. Uh, most people don't even have $1,000 to create a HSI. So is it worth it for me to borrow this? No, not at all. Hell no, it's not worth it. Um, I can go out and, you know, work for like one minute and make $7. Point is, now I'm not bashing Hedron. Um, I'm showing you where, I'm showing you a problem that can be solved, will probably be solved. Yeah. Um, and if anything, this is showing you that if there's potential for Hedron, this is the early time to get into Hedron today, now. That's an early time to get into Hedron. Seven dollars is, let me see, is 156 times lower than just the cost for me to create this HSI. Hmm. So you know what? If I borrow this, um, I don't remember what the premium is going to be. And so, uh, actually, I kind of do remember it. I just don't want to get into the math here. Um, the premium I'm going to end up paying is half of the globalized APY for HEX. Um, and I think that's the APY based on um, the average APY, something like that. Uh, maybe it's just the APY for 5555 five, five stakes. Um, and that number currently, I think, is 38%. Let's see what that number is. Go.hex.com. So, so you need information all over the place to do any of this stuff. There's a lot of numbers passing by. You see why people in crypto are making money and you see why um, you need to follow the right influencers. Uh, I don't really think there are that many influencers out there worth following. Um, Richard Hart, absolutely. Richard Hart, he is absolutely someone to follow. Oh, hey, so T-shares cost about a little more than $2,000 worth of hex. All right, that's, that's market. Okay, so I'm sorry, if I said before T-shares don't have a realized price, really what I mean is you can't just buy T-shares from somebody else. You can't buy them on an open market. You can only buy T-shares through the HEX contract. All right, so let's see. The APY right now is 45%. All right, so the premiums for the premium for Hedron is half of that, so like 22.8. Uh, 22.85%. All right, so point is, what's it going to take for more people to borrow Hedron? Because uh, in order for more people to buy Hedron, people need a reason other than speculation. The other reason is to buy hex stakes or to buy HSIs for people who did not pay their loan back. Now, if you have an HSI, what is the chance of somebody not paying back their HSI? Well, the chance is the person could die, you know, oh, God forbid, and unfortunately. So if the, if the person dies, they can't pay back the Hedron stake. If somebody forgets about it, they can't pay it back. Um, if they're detained for some reason, can't pay it back. Let's say someone went to travel to Europe and they got stuck there because of COVID and things like that, which has happened recently, more of a black swan incident, incident to be frank, um, then they can't pay it back. Well, maybe they can't pay it back because uh, they're in a hard time in their life and they want to give that value to somebody else. Like here, please give me value. Let's trade. This happens all the time. So what's it really going to take? How much does Hedron's price need to go up? You know, I would say if people can get half of their hex value, that's great. It's better than nothing. People need to be able to get more than what it's going to cost them in gas fees for people to borrow more. The people who are borrowing now, let's see how many people are borrowing now. The people who are borrowing now, um, I think they're doing it for fun because there is no economical reason to borrow now. And last I checked, it was like, loan supply? Oh. Last time I checked, the the amount of borrows were like 26. Like 26 different people were borrowing. 
or I think that was the number. Is it drone supply? Okay, never mind. So. Hmm. I don't know of a good website yet to do contract functions through a web interface. I know how to do it with Wax because Wax is awesome. The whole EOS world is pretty awesome, but let's see. Let's see. Ah, it's every 10 days, not per week. Thank you, T-Bird. Thank you for saying that. Um, that's right, every 10 days. So after 100 days or like 90 days from now, there won't be any bonus. Any real use case for using borrow function? <laughs> Alex is in your chat. I hope you've done your homework. Yeah, I mean, this is all I do. I'm retired. So I look into these things. Um, I'm developing a token right now as well, or have developed a token with many very smart people. Um, this is what I eat, live, and breathe. I love this. And uh, Hedron has grabbed a lot of my attention. Um, Hedron's cool. There's extra value being created here, and I believe in it. So you need to have real use case for using the borrow function. Yeah, just don't apply. Yep. It, there's a lot of great information in the chat, by the way. Um, so anybody watching this, I hope the chat becomes a good summary of this. You need to make sure you have enough liquid hedron to pay it off. Yep. Slow move up. Okay, let me just close this. All right, hopefully I didn't um, digress too much here. Um, but what I wanted to look at is hedron price, right? Like <clears throat> we have nom we have a price on Nomix, but Nomix doesn't update really that much. Um, with something as new as Hedron, you do want to see a better update for the price. So nomix.com, it's great for looking up financial information on cryptocurrencies, but then there's also DexGuru that I really like. Let me refresh this page. So on DexGuru, you can go to the search market area, type in HDRN and dex.guru, that's the website. To get to the website, type in dex, D-E-X dot G-U-R-U. It'll bring you to this nice website here. And Hedron is like, you know, point five zeros and then 103 cents. So Hedron's slowly going up in value, um, but really it dropped a ton. And it's kind of obvious it's gonna happen, but this is amazing. The fact that Hedron keeps climbing in value is pretty amazing. Um, who knows if everyone's dumped what they could dump on Hedron. Um, who knows if all the whales have dumped yet, but what you have in the Hex community, <laughs> there's something you got, oh wow, look at this chart. There's something you have in the Hex community that um, you don't really have in other communities. <clears throat> and a lot of hexagons out there, if your project is like being marketed to Hex people or could help people who are into Hex, a lot of hexagons hate your project. Um, you know, my team, we believe we built a better Hex and then we have hexagons coming in saying, oh, you've got admin keys, F you, screw you. It's like, who said there's admin keys? There, there ain't gonna be no admin keys. It hasn't even been implemented, dumbass. I don't mean to say dumbass, but these people are useful idiots, as Lennon referred to them. And and so this, this is kind of neat, this chart here. All right, so let's see. You had the first when Hedron was released and the first initial liquidity was there. Now, Hedron wasn't released on the 22nd, right? Hedron was released later than that. But the contract that was released said that the 26th of February was when. Oh, wait a minute. My my info here sucks. Don't even pay attention to me. I'm, I'm making mistakes here. All right, so anyways, people been dumping Hedron here. All right, I think this is where a trillion Hedron, I think this zoom in here. I think this is where a trillion hedron was dumped. Yeah, it looks like it was this one. I think it was this one where a trillion hedron was dumped. Maybe it was this one. I don't know. But just the fact that um, you, know, you can just so clearly see, you can just so clearly see where people who are minting their hedron are dumping. And it keeps climbing in value. Uh, this is definitely a long-term game. There's a lot of potential be behind Hedron. And every day, there's about a million dollars in volume. 
or more than a million or like 600 to 800,000. I've been watching this daily. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, this is so cool. All right. All right, so one of the biggest problems with Hedron that we can overcome is um, is there has to be HSIs that are in liquidation. Because when liquidation happens, there's a bidding, there's going to be a bidding process where you bid Hedron to be the one who wins that HSI. So if there's a if there's a stake like mine here, so this is 1.2 T shares. You know, imagine getting 1.2 T shares for like a hundred bucks from someone else's HSI. That's a steal. Um, you need at least $1,100 to get this. So $100 is a steal, $200 is a steal. But you need Hedron to be able to take over somebody else's liquidated HSI. And where are you gonna get that Hedron? You're either gonna mint it yourself or you're gonna buy it from the open market, which is going to create more buying pressure. But we need two things for that to happen. We need liquidate. We need liquidated HSIs which are gonna happen in at least 90 days from now. <clears throat> we need liquidated HSIs, but more importantly, we need a reason for people to wanna to borrow in the first place. So there's, there's more chicken and egg problems here. Um, for economic reasons, based off like $1,000 or so, whatever it is, whatever it is, if I'm somebody who can create this kind of stake, I don't give a shit about $7. So I'm not going to put this up to borrow it. Same thing with a lot of other people that create HSIs. I've heard of people creating an HSI um, as their first Quattro Cinco stake, their first 5555 stake, their first stake for 15.2 days. A lot of people aren't creating these very long-term hex stakes. They're not creating them because they can't borrow against them. Now, now while that was beautiful for hex, it wasn't beautiful for a lot of people but because of hedron people feel more comfortable to stake their hex for 15.2 years cool that's neat but now these people where i created a 5555 stake for this example the question is at the current rate of rate of hedron price are they going to care to do it for seven dollars hell no they're not going to care to do it for seven dollars are they going to care to do it for $1,100? Yeah. But a uh, hedron has to 150 multiply in, in price. So that, well, not only that, but the hex value, if hex triples in value, right, with its interest and everything, maybe hedron 440x is in price and then it's worth it for people. But the point that I'm making here is there needs to be a reason for people to want to borrow in the first place. Is that gonna happen in the future? I think it's got a good chance of happening. I think it's got a good chance, but we gotta pay attention to this. Um, because first of all, people aren't gonna borrow at current prices. People are not gonna care about borrowing at current prices. People aren't gonna care to spend $6 in gas fees to get a dollar, to get $2, to get $7. People are not gonna do that. They can't do it, it's not economical. So right now, that might be the case. But what needs to happen? the price of hedron needs to go up. How is the price of hedron gonna go up? What need is there? Well, speculation. Uh, so if you're somebody who believes in hedron, um, and a lot of other people, there's a lot of people who are going to believe in hedron, the price will go up. People need a reason to borrow as well, so the price needs to go up, I keep saying this. So liquidating, that's the next reason. Whether people get liquidated or not, Hedron is getting burned in the process. Hedron is becoming a deflationary asset the more people who borrow. Because they pay back what they borrowed, great. When you pay back what you borrowed, a little bit more Hedron is net burned than what was inflated. More burning happens. Uh, more supply is taken out of the uh, market. So uh, what's going on right now? Um, there have been talks of people who are going to intentionally allow their hedron, their HSI advance. There have been talks of people who are going to intentionally allow that to go to liquidation. 
And I think that's going to be a smart move to bring the value to where it could be. And I think there's an incentive for whales doing that. A lot of whales have dumped their hedron. They don't care about it. They wanted to take their money and leave. Cool, they did that. I, as a whale, a um, little whale, a dolphin whale, uh, I, as a dolphin, do I want to do that? You know, I'll probably do that for this stake that I have here. Um, but in general, it's not really something I want to do a lot. I don't want to lose value. Um, I do believe in hedron. I think it's it's a great addition to hex. Um, I think it's awesome. So let's see what else we got here. Um, let me show you some things on Uniswap for this. Okay, and allow me to refresh. So let's check out what else is going on in the market for Hedron. Let's see how much liquidity there is and see what that liquidity looks like. Now, most of Hedron's liquidity is on Uniswap V3. There's a good amount on V2. I mean, not a good amount. There's like, last I checked, there was like $30,000 worth of liquidity on Hedron V2. But V3 is where all the liquidity is. All right, and in the last 24 hours, a little more than a million dollars was swapped between Hedron and USD at 1%. This is pretty good. For those of you who like to provide liquidity uh, to different tokens, this might be a pretty good option. $10,000 in fees. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right. So I was on info, I am on info.uniswap.org. I went here, typed in HDRN to look for this token. And as you saw, I went down to the most popular pair, Hedron and USD coin. Let's look at the liquidity. Recent transactions. So look at the recent transactions. People are acquiring mostly acquiring Hedron. <clears throat> yeah, people are mostly acquiring Hedron quite often, every five minutes, every 10 minutes. Within the last 30 minutes, about 10 people, I think it is, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, yeah. All right, so here's what liquidity looks like. There is a Here's the current price of Hedron. <clears throat> There's a pretty big buy wall here for 170. So someone wants to spend $170,000 to acquire Hedron at a much lower price than it is now. At a price of one divided by 975. At a price of pretty fair all right at a price of five zeros at a price of cents pennies or dollars sorry at a price of dollars of point five zeros one oh two I think that's pretty healthy so hedron for a market's looking pretty healthy the worst thing that has happened to hedron's price are big whales dumping all of their newly minted hedron By the way, other cool websites out there, HSI Watch. Um, that's where I plugged in um, my address that I showed up earlier just to see, ah, there it is. 8.52 hex, or sorry, 8,520 hex. That's how much I did, okay. I think that's the price of hex right now. Okay, so almost $1,000 in today's monies. 
stakehex.today. Supposedly, they'll show your HSIs as well. So not only will they show your native hex stakes, but they'll also show your Hedron ones. I tried it out earlier and I didn't see it. All right, cool. All right, so in regards to Hedron, I think that's all I have to say about it, uh, besides taking some questions and answers on that. Uh, Hedron, Oh yeah, I did want to look more at the tokenomics. Um, if you want to learn more about Hedron, you want to read the white paper. You want to look into the white paper. This white paper is great. It's it's generally pretty simple and straight and to the point. It doesn't get into philosophy or anything. It doesn't have any Mark Twain quotes or anything like that. Um, it's a pretty straightforward and easy to read, con easy to read white paper. Let's see where is that white paper. You go to on Hedron.pro on the website. You go to documentation, white paper, there we go. Everything you need to know about minting, tokenizing, um, getting an advance or borrowing, payments, here it is about payments. Cool. Launch phase bonus, advancement to ra mint ratio bonus. Okay, so the only thing we didn't cover here, the only thing we didn't cover is the advanced to mint ratio, the AMR. And this was really smart. I mean, this was necessary. This had to happen for, um, for Hedron to make sense. Um, so basically this bonus Right now there is no bonus. There is no AMR. Today's AMR bonus is 0x. This bonus is going to depend on how much of the supply of Hedron is borrowed. And we see here, very small amount is borrowed. See that little green line at the bottom? That's how much is borrowed. And the borrow amount is, you know, when the borrow amount Go, I think it's when the borrow amount goes more than 50%, that's when you get the bonus. Where is it? To ensure that there's always enough free market hedron to cover all borrowing premiums. Yeah, yeah, if you couldn't buy any hedron, I mean, maybe the AMR wasn't necessary. Uh, maybe it wasn't necessary because there's always going to be hedron available to purchase uh, but is there going to be enough mm, okay yeah yeah that's probably necessary <laughs> main range bonus okay so when this bonus is available it'll be available for 24 hours there will be quite a um people are going to want that bonus but you know what damn that bonus is going to be awesome if that bonus is applied to all of the days that you've served in the past, that's gonna be pretty awesome. That's gonna give a good incentive for people. Let me make a note for myself. I wanna ask that and figure out. So in the comment section, you know, I'm pretty bad with not putting things into the comment section that I should or that I say I'm going to. So feel free to comment and tell me, hey dude, you promised to put this in the comment section. Where is it? And I'll put it in there and I'll respond to your comment. Um, now's a good time. I'll be able to, I've got a lot of time to do this, but Does the AMR apply to all past served days? It probably does, but probably is not good enough. I'm gonna find out from the source. Once again, the source is to go to t.me slash Hedron Crypto. Go to that website um, and you'll be able to open up the Hedron chat room and ask all your questions there. It's getting more active. The Hedron chat room, last I checked, there were more than 3000 people in there. Maybe it's more than 4,000 now, I don't know, but the number's been climbing up pretty steadily over the last 10 days, over the last month, over the last almost two months maybe. I think when I first joined the chat room, less than two months ago, maybe 30 days ago, no, 60 days ago. I don't remember how many people were in the room, but it was, it was a good amount less than 1,000. 
Hadron's exciting. It's interesting. It's new. Um, it adds value to the hex community without devaluing hex. Um, hex community members should be very thankful for Alex from Hedron who organized all this together. The hex community should really be thankful. This is pretty cool. And this could potentially be massive in value. So, all right, uh, I'm going to sign off with that. Um, I'm going to sign off with that. If you want to know more about Hedron, go to hedron.pro and look at the white paper. And once again, that's navigating to the top of documentation and then going to white paper. It's a lot of good information here. Print it out for yourself if you can. I don't know if you can print this out because of how it was. Yeah, you can't select any of this text. Mm. Print it out for yourself if you can and read it in your past, your spare time. And that'll work out great. And I'm looking forward to Hedron. We just, you know, Hedron, in order for it to succeed, we're going to need liquidations. Um, we're going to need it to be worth people to buy these liquidations. Um, and hopefully that happens. When that does happen, when people, when there are liquidated hex stakes, when there are liquidated HSIs that are worth people buying, that are worth people bidding on and burning their hedron just to get, just to acquire, <clears throat> that's going to become a very valuable time for hedron. But, surely there will also be a lot of people dumping their hedron uh, dumping their hedron to take advantage of that market price so what's going to happen in the end um i mean just the fact that hedron is given out free to people who spent the gas for it so not exactly free but people who spent the gas money to acquire hedron from to acquire more value from their hex stakes that makes hedron worth it if you have old hex stakes it could be worth it for you um and this could potentially be a really big thing in the future. The biggest things we have in the nearest future are Pulse, uh, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Liquid Loans is super interesting what's going on in there. Um, but as far as value, there's gonna be value. Uh, I just, I'm not settled yet on how much value. And then we have Hedron here. This kicks ass. Uh, this is a, this is a magic carpet ride, very happy world going on in the future. So, um, but we need, in order for Hedron to succeed over the last, over the next 100 days, over the next year, um, Hedron needs to have people, um, needs to be sexy enough for people to borrow against their future HSI. Um, Hedron needs to be sexy enough for people to create HSIs. I think it's already sexy enough to create HSIs, but but people need to have an incentive to borrow and people might not have an incentive to borrow because well if you can tokenize your hsi and sell it on the open sea market you know you might not want to borrow but then again you do lose your hsi you also potentially get a lot more cash than seven dollars for my hsi so So we'll see. Um, I'm not set yet if it's going to be worth it for people to borrow and worth it for people to go into liquidation or worth it for people to... It, it's going to be worth to buy any liquidated HSIs, but people have got to borrow. There's got to be a lot of borrowing. Without a lot of borrowing and a very fruitful market for acquiring people's HSIs, uh, without that, <clears throat> I don't think Hedron stands a chance. But with that, Hedron's, Hedron is... is your way to at least hundred fold or to hundred X hundred multiple to, to add two zeros to the value that you put into Hedron. So Hedron's potentially a really freaking huge thing. And I see the only risk being the only risk being one that its contract still works well, uh, which Hedron um, has had an audit. So that's good that there was at least an audit. Um, so there's an audit. That's great still a risk in cybersecurity. Since there was an audit, probably not that big of a risk, especially since um, do we really have good auditors today? Uh, yes and no. But the other risk is, is it gonna be worth it for people to borrow? Because people borrowing is how Hedron gets purchased, it's how there's more buying pressure, it's how Hedron's going to go up in price, 
and for this to be worth it to even borrow in the first place, Hedron needs to go up in price. Uh, this is potentially a fatal flaw with Hedron, which I hate. You know, there was a fatal flaw with Steam that I told people about, and uh, Steam ended up, you know, dropping a lot in value. Um, even though Hive came around, I don't know what changes Hive made, but Steam, Steam cryptocurrency had some fatal flaws. So if you made money in Steam, congratulations, right? Um, I made a ton of money in Steam, but I found the fatal flaw and I got the hell out. Um, Hedron does have a fatal flaw, but this fatal flaw can be super, um, can be um, can be made into not a flaw by whales and other people that want this to happen. But when those whales dump their bags, you know, when whales make borrowing worth it by having their own stakes or different HSIs purposely liquidated, um, the value that Hedron can go up to is certainly going to grab a lot of attention. People are going to make more HSIs. Now, people are going to borrow more. People are going to borrow a lot more. Once they borrow, they're going to dump that on the market because uh, what, what other reason are you borrowing other than to dump it? dump it for US dollar or dump it for hex so you can create more hex instances, right? So, um, so Hedron being purposely liquidated by whales um, is gonna be a good move for the community. In whales, you need to do this. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I don't want to, but yeah, maybe I don't do it, <clears throat> right? Because I'm not here to do like charity things for uh, tokens to rise in value. Um, and a lot of whales think that same way. Um, but the people who are vested in Hedron and want it to go up a great amount, good. They can do these charity liquidations for their HSI. But um, that's going to have to continue. Uh, people are going to have to continue getting liquidated in order, for a in order for Hedron to sustain its value or rise in value. You see, so there, there's a pit, pretty big issue with that in the tokenomics that should have been addressed. Um, so, so you know what I want to say is I want Hedron to succeed because Hedron's awesome. Um, I'm on the fence. I might, I might do a liquidating thing because I want to see how the game runs out. I want to see how this game theory plays out. I might do that part as well. That's going to be for another ninety days which means for the investors or for people, it's potentially really early. It's obviously really early. It just released. Damn it, people. Pay attention to Hedron. Learn more about Hedron and see what you want to do about it. It's worth it. Uh, I just hope and I pray that borrowing becomes worth it and that liquidations happen, which, hey, liquidations, it's worth your shit to get liquidated if the amount you borrowed was worth it to you. It's totally worth it. So we'll see. Anywho, hey, thanks everybody for watching. Now uh, let's see, let's see some questions on here. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for checking this out. One more pretty picture of my big face. And let's see, AMR was designed. Yeah, there's more good chats in here. So let's check that out. How is Jenna Trust doing? Uh, let's see, that's a long answer and this is about Hedron. So I'll have to do a Will I even want to do something for that? Maybe. Um, if you're referring to uh, the token that was being worked on, that's a that's a different topic that I will cover in a live stream. Nearly four thousand five hundred in the chat. I don't know four thousand five hundred in the chat. Chat don't know. Uh, Hedron's got very interesting tokenomics, very interesting uh, game theory going on here. Um, ooh. I wish I was part of the tokenomics and game theory discussion from uh, Hedron's creation, but let's see how this works. Let's see, is it gonna be is it gonna be worth getting liquidated? Is this, well, is it gonna be worth borrowing in the first place? Uh, is it gonna be worth getting liquidated? Even if it's not worth getting liquidated, if it's worth it to borrow, then Hedron's gonna be golden. If it becomes worth it <clears throat> to, excuse me, if it's gonna become worth it to create HSIs, and to borrow against them, <clears throat> excuse me, if that's gonna be worth it, game over. Hedron's gonna explode. It's gonna be awesome. Um, it's gonna be, um, you know, it's gonna be a good extra to the Hex community. It's gonna be an incredible extra. And I really hope that happens. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. You all have a good one.